Chippy Davy, but you can just call me Chippy. One of my favorite things to do in school was arts and crafts. And what made arts and crafts so much fun was the fact that you get to play with glue. But here's the thing, you probably haven't even thought about this before, but glue is kind of sticky. If you have just a little bit too much fun with too much glue, well, let's just say disastrous things can happen. For instance, there was once a student named Maddie who had a little bit too much fun with too much glue. The story that I am reading today is called Too Much Glue by Jason Lefebvre, illustrated by Zach Retz and with permission from Flashlight Press. It's time to tell a tale. Drops, not puddles. And she warns me, Maddie, too much glue. But my dad and I love glue. At home, we make glue glasses, glue mustaches, and even glue bouncy balls. Mom is happy to help. So during art class, I find the fullest bottles of glue. I tip them over and squeeze. Plop. Glue squishes from the orange tips and slops all over. Sequins and googly eyes float around in the gluey lake. Then it's time for the most important decoration. Geronimo! <laughs> I belly flop onto the table and roll the glue and everything else cover me. Time to go on the drying rack, I announce. But when I try to pull myself off the table, I <laughs> right back down. Too much glue, Maddie! Too much glue! My teacher squawks. This is bad. There's only half an hour until the end of school. And all I can do is lift my head, leave my hands, and wiggle my toes. The rest of me is a blunky, stucky mess. Can somebody help me? I call. While my teacher breathes into a paper bag, Noah shouts, let's lasso him. Izzy, Noah, and Owen get to work. Soon, I'm roped from all sides like a rodeo pony. But when they try to pull me out, snap! Lassos break, leaving colorful octopus tentacles everywhere. The glue is too strong. And now I'm a clingy, stringy, blocky, stucky mess. Don't worry, Maddie. We know what to do. Shout Luke and Grace from across the room. Is that a tow truck? I ask as they wheel the contraption over and stick a plastic hook into my suit of glue. My friends pull one way. The glue pulls the other. Creak, click, creak, click, until the tow truck explodes and plastic bricks rain all over. Now I'm a clicky, bricky, plingy, stringy, blucky, stucky mess. The school nurse bursts in and checks my temperature. 98.6, sorry, no fever. I can't send you home early. She dabs and pets me like I'm spoiled juice. And the more she blots, the more the glue spreads. Soon, I'm a melted mummy, clicky bricky, clingy stringy, lucky stucky mess. Oh. Then the principal comes in. He takes one look at me, sticks a note on my belly, and leaves. Seeing my teacher huffing and puffing like a train gives me a great idea. I whisper it to Haley and Owen. The final bell rings and everyone freezes. Except Haley and Owen. It's, it's the, the biggest, biggest
just a water we couldn't make. They shout, furiously flopping a huge paper fan at me. Then, just as I'm thinking, I'll be a note on the tummy, melted mummy, clicky, pricky, clingy, stringy, blucky, stucky, glue boy. <sighs> That's a mouthful. For the rest of my life, my plan works. Something my teacher said could never happen, happens. The glue dries. But I'm still stuck. And now I hear footprints. The door starts to open. My father and some other carpool parents walk in. Dad comes closer and inspects me. Then he peels me off the table. Glue, yarn, bricks and all. He spins me around. No one makes a sound. Then Dad smiles. Maddie, you're a masterpiece. He holds me up for everyone to admire. My friends all cheer. Car ride home is interesting. Mom is speechless when Dad brings me in the house, but he knows just what to do. Well, kiddo, Dad says, some beautiful things only happen once, and this is one of those things. He gently grips the dried glue in front of my neck and behind my collar and peels me open like a ripe banana. Now it's Dad's turn to glue, and he seals up the sides of the me-shaped work of art. I bet it would take all the glue in the art room to make a U-shaped work of art, Dad. Dad laughs. <laughs> then he glues a big magnet to the back of my project and hangs it on the fridge. During dinner, we sneak peeks of my masterpiece. And after dinner, we take the principal's note very seriously, which says, please encourage Maddie to use tape instead of glue. The end. Maddie is a very talented creative thinker when it comes to problem solving skills. He was able to come up with so many different ways to help him get out of this sticky situation. When you allow yourself to express yourself, use your creativity and imagination, that can help you with your creative thinking and problem solving skills. This story of Maddie's perfectly demonstrates how there is a time and a place for everything. For instance, at home is a perfect place to express yourself and use your imagination and be messy and all those kinds of fun things. With consent from the parents, of course. For example, at home was a great place for Maddie to play with glue with his parents. However, at school, it probably wasn't the best place to do that. At school, you really have to listen to the teacher and follow instructions. Like when the teacher told Maddie to not use a lot of glue, he disobeyed and used a lot of glue. That probably wasn't the best decision. I was very inspired by Maddie's creativity with the glue that I wanted to play with some glue as well. So I'm gonna do a little glue craft with you all today. I tried to go online to see what kind of glue sculptures and creations there are out there that I can use for this craft with y'all. But I couldn't really find anything. So, I guess you can say this is a 100% Dookie Davy Time to Tell a Tale original craft. As far as I am aware of. So I'm going to create a big glue sculpture masterpiece. I have no directions um, that I have created. I just have this cone here. Um, I was going to make my sculpture glue creation thing 100% made out of glue, but that would have been like a lot of glue. You see this glue right here? This is actually hot glue um, before it's all melted. 
So if you're gonna be doing this craft at home, just be warned, I am warning you right now, this is me warning you, out you, out there. Hot glue is, you guessed it, very hot. So that means that you have to have parental consent and help when you are dealing with hot glue because hot glue is very hot. So here it is, and here's my little base that I'm using. It's just a cardboard box lid that I just kind of took in here it is. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna glue this down onto our base here. So we have a nice base for it. And I am just going to freely create my glue sculpture. And I have some some things I can decorate it with. I have some cotton balls. I have um, some flowers. I have some ribbons. Um, this little pink chicken. Oh, little, little, little chick. I'm gonna put on there someplace. I have some googly eyes. I have some pipe cleaners. So this is gonna be a fun time. So first, I'm just gonna try to like put some glue on my glue sculpture. I'm gonna start adding stuff to it. Oh, I have some teddy bears and I have some, what's this? I have these we can put on them. They're just more styrofoam but in ball shape. This is styrofoam but in cone shape. Shapes. This is just gonna be great. How many more balls should I add? Should I add all of them? I have eight more. I need more glue. All right, now I'm gonna add some cotton balls might make it fun and fluffy. All right, I have some googly eyes. I can, that I can glue on here. I feel like this is gonna end up being kind of scary, but that's okay. Scary is fine, right? I think it's about time that I do some painting. I'm gonna do, ooh, some purple. I'm gonna add some light blue too. Yeah. Now we have some paint. We can continue to glue stuff. I have like some flowers. 
have a couple feathers. Stay. Stay flowers. Stay. Wow, it's coming together, isn't it? Glue fun. Glue masterpiece. Now pipe cleaners. Got my pipe cleaners, got my googly eyes, got my feathers. You know, this is so much fun. It just goes to show that it's so much fun when you can just use your imagination and creativity and just express yourself through art. So good, so great. Highly recommend it. I feel like it's missing stuff. I can't explain what it's missing. Maybe this? Huh? 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 I kind of like it. I just want to say for the record, I know this doesn't look good. <laughs> I know it's not the best, or maybe you do think it looks good. Art is subjective. Objective? Subjective? Which means that there's no right or wrong. Some people might like it, some people won't like it. It's art. This is probably taking way longer than it needs to be, but I just keep adding stuff to it. I still feel like it's missing stuff. <laughs> I know what it's missing. I bought these specifically for my sculpture. I saved them for last. I have this ladybug that I'm just gonna attach to it. And then I have these sandals. They're like flip flops. I'm gonna stick them in there as well. And I showed this to you at the beginning, but my little, Pink chip. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna add this one right here. Do I just stick it in? Oh. Eh. Eh. Yeah. Look at that. Flip flops. Get in there. Yeah. You can't even tell. It's chip, huh? Can you see? You see the beak? Kind of. Stay, chicken, stay. Huh, am I done? Wow! My favorite part is probably the pink chick, um, but I, um, I, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But I had lots of fun making it. I had no idea what to expect. And now I see. I did it. I, I made a thing. I made something. It's something, isn't it? It's really something, isn't it? Whoa! Well, that was fun. <laughs> it is wonderful to just do things and create things, use your imagination, and it's good for you. It's good for you. It's good for your mind, creative thinking, problem solving skills. Something like that is great to make at home in your spare time. But just for good measure, let's go ahead and go over how to glue things when you're in school so you don't make a big old mess with your glue. Basically what you're going to do with your glue is you're gonna keep the glue inside the, the, the marker, the, the black marker. So I'm gonna do these little dots. Don't make them too big, just enough to fit them in the little, the little black circles. And now I'm gonna do my line, nice and small, all the way down. Nice. Thank you all so much for joining me on this glue spectacular episode of Time to Tell the Tale with yours truly, Jokey Davey, that's me. And do you know what time it is? It's shout out time! I would love to give a big shout out to my friend Genevieve. I know how much you enjoy my craft videos, so I hope you had lots of fun watching me create this little spectacular little doozy. <laughs> 
probably one of my most creative craft experiments. If you would like a shout out just like this, you can go ahead and email me at dookydavy at gmail.com with your name and where you're from and I would love to give you a shout out. You can also check me out on my other social media platforms. Instagram, Facebook, and some others too. And of course, if you enjoyed yourself, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any great videos. I will see you all next time when it's time to tell a tale. Goodbye, everyone. Now I'm a clicky, bricky, sticky, clunky, clicky, bricky, clingy, stringy, blick, blick, blah, 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 blah,